Right, so Sarah, the talks which have taken place today, just first of all, how important is it that they take place on a regular basis? It's absolutely vital for me that we continue to focus on victims and survivors of crime. That's the reason that everybody in this room do their job. They do it to either prevent the crime happening in the first place, or if it has, then to make sure, A, that we get justice, but B, that that person who is the victim of the crime is given the strength and the confidence and the encouragement to become a real survivor. That's what we all want. During the talk, you spoke about offering a message to Theresa May about the increase in funding for, for victims. How important is it that that does happen for people here in Yorkshire? One of my biggest frustrations is it's very clear when you look at the um, horror of child sex sexual exploitation in Rotherham that the scale we're dealing with is unprecedented in this country. The fact that the government haven't given us extra resources to support those victims, to get the prosecutions and, and to really sort of make sure this never happens again, it, it's unacceptable that we haven't had additional funding for it. So I've been consistently pushing the Prime Minister. I have a letter in with her at the moment, which is now a month old and I haven't even had a reply, because you can't expect for the existing resources to cover an unprecedented incident. So unless they help us, uh, I'm going to keep on shouting, kicking on doors and demanding that South Yorkshire gets the proper resources, the proper funding that we deserve. And how frustrating is it that that letter has been there for so long unanswered? Um, I actually find it a sign of contempt that the Prime Minister doesn't even bother to responding, doesn't even bother to respond when I'm asking specifically for money to help victims and survivors of child abuse. And just finally, looking at the improvements which have been made, the new centre opening here in the area, how great is that to see that people really are, you know, who have been affected know that difference has been made? Um, one of the things that I'm most proud of is that we do have a police and crime commissioner who is incredibly focused on supporting victims and survivors to enable them to step away from the crime, leave it behind them and leave the fulfilled lives that they should have had if this horrid incident had never happened to them. That's great. And one of the things he's done is got a, um, a sexual assault referral centre so that if you have been sexually abused, you can go to a safe space where they will look after you, they will take care of you and they will help you rebuild their lives. That's groundbreaking. There are very few of them in the country and I'm just really, really proud that we've got one in Yorkshire.